Hello everybody, this is TT Lemon and today I'm going to be showing you this. It's a flag capture system with a vertical display timer. This is my flag, so if I just turn it on and show how it works. At the moment that's going to happen because I'm not on a team, so I need to join a team. Now I'm going to join team 1 because this flag is set to be captured by team 1. So now, time is going down and there you go, and captured by team 1 and it was me. Don't worry about the one at the top the, that stayed on, that just seems to be a error that happens only when I'm recording. So yeah, I'll show you how it works and it's resettable like that. It turns itself off so if I go back to it now I can't capture it again. Resettable like that and that starts up the clock again and allows people to go about their business capturing the flag. So it works like this. This comparator here is testing for anyone that's near that flag there within two blocks of it that's on team one. This one is doing the same thing but for people that are on team two. It's being pulsed by this little clock here. And what that does is this is taking the amount of people that are there on the team one minus the number of people on team two so as long as there's more people on team one in the area of the flag then um, a signal can get through but that also means that if there's say two people from team one and no people from team two on there then this is going to go down twice as fast so two of these bars could come out at a time same for three but if there's say three people from team one one person from the other team trying to battle them then it's only going to go down two because three minus one is two obviously yeah i think this is a very compact circuit this is a subtraction circuit here then this just lets pulse through a bit slower i don't know if that actually works it goes a bit funny sometimes if i don't have it so i've left it on and this here this bit here is our little memory cell and uh, this is on sub this one is on subtract so that every time a pulse comes through here which is done by this and um, this letting the pulse through um, it's going to take away however many more players there are on the flag on team 1 than there are on team 2 so it's a pretty simple system and you should be able to figure out how it works and this torch inside here is just to hold this in its on state and reset it so if I do this and then come away it goes back again and that's what this torch is for um, you can disable it click the lever like that and then can capture it now and you can turn it back on like this and I'll show you also how it works so as this comes down it doesn't start on again because this clock is big, is only turned on when there is any amount of signal in this um, memory cell here. So since there's now no signal, the clock isn't turned on. And to reset it, all it does is just repower the memory cell, which then turns the clock back on and starts the system again. And one of my favourite parts of this is this um, little vertical display here. It works pretty simple. It's just a tower like this. So as the signal is slowly reduced it comes down. Uh, so this one it points into that block, powers there, powers this lamp and so on and so forth. And yeah, pretty simple. This um disabler here works by it turns this torch off, which turns the display off and also turns this off here so no it can't come through here to say it's been cap who it's been captured by and I like this little thing here it says captured by team one and then in brackets it says all the people that are on team one on the flag at the at the point when this hits the bottom so if there's say me and Jeb capturing the flag it will come and say TT Lemon and Jeb captured the flag so, and also, if you notice, it said flag A, so the name of the command block was, um, mouse passed out, 
is actually flag A, so it says flag A captured that. And I'll show you how to do that over here. All you need is command block, stick it in your anvil, and rename it. I couldn't just call this flag A. That's now called flag A. Say so that will be flag A is the name captured. So hit that flag A capturing do things like this. And also, things like this, you can call this red team. So, if red team's on the game, you can do that. And this little thing here. So, if you c I've called um, this one's called game. And it's a slash me. So, it says game starting and over, which I think is really nice. If you didn't rename it game and just said slash me game starting or slash me game over, you'd have the little. Um, symbol next to it which is what the calm box are called by standard right so now i'm going to show you how to build the um detector the clock and the memory cell circuit and it goes like this the yellow is the clock which is the biggest then the purple subtractor the little reset line and the actual memory cell so first of all i'm going to build the memory cell which goes like this it's just like a ordinary memory cell that you'd encounter with you could have with repeaters like this so when you power it it just goes in a loop and holds itself on but because it's done with comparators have that in subtract mode and then when you input into it so let's say if I just turn that on so if I input just one less than full is going to bring this down to just one little bit so you see it's still actually turned on I did that wrong but you know what I'm saying it takes that away from it and that's how it makes the thing descend next the clock so comparator like that clock there and this means when there's a signal in the memory cell it turns the clock on which is a very useful feature and we got this and that's what lets the signal through there that repeater and it's this clock goes if I just quickly run that line on like this uh, get a lever lever turn it on and that's when the it's like um yeah this clock which a lot of people have been using but it's too fast for the command block so I just add an extra tick of delay into it and it made it register the command box which is good now here we have our command blocks we'll program them a bit later now we need to get the outputs from them subtract the outputs together and join them together and then uh, need a torch back pop that there and this means when there's no people from team 1 left in the flag zone it puts the memory cell back onto full and this bit here is slightly different in this because it's obviously got the display on it so yeah just flip that off that's the circuit now I'll show you the commands so just grab that and paste it in here so that does test 4 which basically puts an output signal depending on how many people there are to put on certain criteria my criteria are any people which is at A, it's their all players that are on the flag which is the um, X, Y and Z coordinates flag with a 2 block radius and they're on team 1 that's what that one does so it will send that signal through here and then the other one is the same but just team 2 Oops simple enough, self-explanatory and to get output from this you lead down like this and the, to reset it once it's been tripped you can just put a button on there or there, wherever you want to have it and you can have your output on this block 
we need a fair output, you need a torch on that block, and one on that block, or you have one on that block. All of them will do the same thing. Okay. Thank you for watching, and it's been TT11.